Good morning, Eric. The Big E, Arnold, here in the secondary studio. It is Monday, April 12th. Uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start on this video. We're not in the wee hours of the morning. Actually, it took a few hours to sleep. Uh, and I think it helped because uh, we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven picks for you. When I went to bed, I had one. And I thought, oh, I don't know. I'm just not seeing this one clearly. Let's, let's go to bed. And if I wake up and uh, it's 11 a.m., well, then we'll skip the video because we need a break anyway. And I woke up after like an hour and a half and uh, and went to work. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think uh, there's a couple good ones in here. Um, recap our Sunday. It was a pretty good Sunday. It could have been a great Sunday. It was an okay Sunday. Uh, we had three winners, two losers. You know, they, again, it's all apples and oranges, you know, in that you're playing the money line. So if you're playing huge favorites and you won three and lost two, you probably had a bad day. So you kind of need to know, you know, where, how much you bet, what were you laying. Anyway, uh, so let's get there to our old, oh, uh, before we get into that. Um, new subscriber Ted Ree has joined us. I think we have now, uh, we, we were hemorrhaging subscribers and now I think we're, you know, we're, we're, I guess this is always going to be a deal where you're kind of, as the seasons change, you know, there are a lot of college basketball fans that could give a shit about baseball. So some of them might be dropping out. Uh, but then, you know, we pick up uh, some hardcore baseball people, perhaps. Uh, so I think we're, plus we've had a couple winners here in the past week or so. I don't think that hurts. So at any rate, welcome aboard, Ted. Salute. Now, where are we? Uh, we're going to talk about, let's see, old business, old business. I'll put the big EO meter up there. Yeah, you get, I'm noting that I got to find a way to crunch these numbers faster because it is taking some minutes to, you know, add up the score every day. Um, so I don't know, in other words, you may get an updated big EO meter when I win, but when I lose, you may wait a few days till I update it. It's a lot more fun to add it up when you're winning. Uh, it's kind of painful when you're losing. So, uh, picks from yesterday, like I said, we, our top play was postponed. Damn, I mean, I really liked that Blue Jay game yesterday. I thought we had a good spot there with those guys coming right back within, what, 12 to 14 hours off a of 15 to 1 beating. I thought they would just come right back out and continue the beating, but you know, rain interceded, and uh, that was the end of that. Uh, the uh, Indians, nice job by them. We had them the whole weekend. They came through with a nice sweep over the Tigers. Um, I, I, the Indian cheers, I guess, are all verboten now, so I can't really do any of those. Um, I'm going to get my hands on some, like, other teams' gear here. I, I don't have any Indians' gear. Um, I have to work on that. I don't want to spend, you know, like hundreds of dollars, especially with the MLB, since now we're kind of enemies that they've taken such a woke position. So I don't want to be giving them huge amounts of money. Uh, you know, for example, my wife went into Walmart several years ago and, uh, she found a Jim Tomey shirt, uh, for $4, which I thought, now this is a deal. This is okay. You know, Tommy at the time was no longer on the Phillies. <laughs> he had been off the Phillies for two, three years. <laughs> and Walmart's just trying to pawn it off on somebody that either doesn't know or doesn't care. I would be the latter. Uh, so for four bucks, yeah, I'll wear your shirt for four bucks. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for, for like MLB shirts and gear and whatnot for like $4. And, and I'm no, I, I assume I violate some kind of copyright deal uh, if I do that. But I don't know. Maybe I just 
Yeah, speaking of copyright, I it, it, would you believe when you play Poke Salad Annie by Tony Joe White, more famously covered by Elvis Presley, that YouTube blocks the video in Cuba, Syria, Iran, and North Korea. What, what sense does that make? I, I, I'm trying to figure that one out. That, that you know, Kim Sung Il, or whatever the hell his name is, sits there and says, that goddamn Tony White, he's, he's bad. He's, he's capitalist. We, we block him. You know, that doesn't make any sense to me. But that's what they do. And, and YouTube is a black box. You can't ask them questions unless you're like super, subs uh, 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 you know, super producer with 10 million subscribers. You know, maybe they like say JP Sears, maybe he can call them up and say, hey, I got a question and they'll actually answer it. Uh, uh, but, you know, somebody like me, a ham and agger, I, I got no one to call. There's no way I can find out the answer to why does Polk Salad Annie blocked in these, you know, totalitarian four countries? That doesn't make any sense. So I don't know if I had, it, it, wouldn't it be funny if I actually had some subscribers in that countries <laughs> that I have a fan club in Iran? That'd be kind of funny. But, uh, all right, so I lost my place. Where were we? We were talking about the Indians. Uh, all right, so the Indians won. Uh, the White Sox, they, they were there. The whole game, it was nip and tuck. They fell behind. Then they get a pinch hit, home run. Now we're in the lead. We're probably going to win, and their bullpen blew it. Uh, which seems to me this is more than once that the White Sox have done us this way, getting hosed by their bullpen. May have to think about that. In other words, you know, bullpens change. You know, if we, you might have a great bullpen one year, and then, you know, guys get hurt. These dudes a lot of times are on one-year contracts. Next thing you know, you got a whole new set of guys, and your pen isn't any good anymore, or vice versa. You know, see the Phillies. Apparently, they found some guys that can get some outs in the pen now all of a sudden. Uh, the Nationals, Dodgers, uh... Hey, what can I say? The Dodgers are tough at home, especially in the daytime. Uh, Reds, they're just, you know, a subscriber X. He, uh, he, he texted me, he said, they're dead. They're dead money until they get Votto out of the lineup. I'm like, yeah, I, uh, that's kind of the way I see it. So um, that was a nice one. That was our, uh, we had, I guess, two two-star plays, split them, White Sox, uh, Diamondbacks. And then late night, the Phillies and the Braves. I'm a Phillies. Like I said, I don't, I'm not a big fan of this Phillies edition. They need to, they, they keep winning, they'll grow on me. I, I won't lie. I'll get on the bandwagon. Will I feel shame for all the people that are already on the bandwagon? Maybe a little. But uh, that was a nice win by the Phillies last night. You know, they had every reason that, you know, they get a lead, lose it. Get a lead, lose it. They had every reason to lose that game. Or find a way to lose that game, and then um, they get the break on the instant re replay call there in the ninth inning. Now that dude was out. He is out. <laughs> He'll be out to the end of time. He never touched home plate, I, and I don't understand how you could look at that replay and go, maybe he did touch home plate. You know, he did not touch home plate. If you have the pair of eyes, you saw that. And I just, I'm with the Braves. I, I hate instant replay. I hate it. Absolutely goddamn hate it. You know, as usual, it's MLB coming up with a new innovation to make the game worse. And they do it all the time. And this is one of the biggest ones they've come up with. I, I thought to myself, one of the biggest historical events in Philadelphia Phillies baseball history where instant replay would have been useful, supposedly, would have been Black Friday. And if you don't know what Black Friday is, you're not from Philadelphia. Uh, 1977, Game 3, NLCS, series tied at 1. This is probably the best Phillies team they'd had since 1950. 
they're tied at one with the Dodgers in games. The game's in Philadelphia. The Phillies get a 5-3 lead going into the ninth inning. They get the first two outs, and now there's two damn outs. Two damn outs. We got a 5-3 lead, and then the roof starts caving in. And here we get one more chance to win the game. It's a bang-bang play at first base. Davy Lopes running. If he's out, that's the third out. The game is over. 5-4 Phillies win. Uh, if he's safe, they tie the game. Game continues. Well, the umpire called him safe. And he was out. He was out then. He was out yesterday. He was out today. He'll be out tomorrow. Davy Lopes will be out till the end of time on that play. But that's not the way the umpire called it. So I've, I've thought about that, and I thought, you know, if we had instant replay, they'd still screw it up. They would still fuck it up, just like they did last night. You know, the uh, little man in the booth with his headsets on would look at it and go, oh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure it looks well. We'll just go with what the guy called on the field. What the hell was the point of having it when you have a clear-cut decision to make and you screw it up? It just adds another level of subjectivity. Get rid of it and speed the damn game up. Why do you think no one watches the game anymore? Because a, a nine-inning game lasts three and a half hours. Who the hell has three and a half hours to spend, other than people like degenerates like us that sit there and watch these games? And hell, I fall asleep and miss you know three innings of the game anyway because I'm old. So get rid of it, but, you know, they never will. Uh, in fact, they'll probably just uh, add more and more layers to make it more and more complicated. Anyways, here endeth the rant. But, yeah, you look up uh, that on YouTube. Um, Game 3, Black Friday, Dodgers Phillies, 1977. And uh, you go there, find that play in the ninth inning. You, you tell me, was he out? Was he safe? Out, safe, out, safe. You tell me. You make the call. All right. Um, so, you know, all, what would we end up with? Just that much to the black, which, you know, is okay. I'm okay with that. You know, that much to the black. Uh, you can't win every day. Uh, so, you know, if, if you can hit the black every day, you're doing something. So we've been on a little bit of a roll here. Uh, uh, so let's see if we can keep it going here. Um, got a lot of one-star games today. I, I, you know, those are the ones we're, you know, underwater with. Uh, probably, I don't know, I guess we're just putting them out there just because, you know, it, it, it just... Just in case that's the game you were on and you could go, oh, wow, somebody else likes it too. You know, hmm, you know, and then, or some of you might be going, hmm, somebody else likes it too. Maybe I should get off this game. Uh, but, uh, all right, so, Red Sox twins, uh, I don't know. We, it, this is a homer pick. I like J Hap. I know that sounds crazy. Who likes J Hap? I like J Hap. Um, this guy was with the Phillies back in the great golden era when he was a rookie. And I, I always wondered what would happen if the Phillies had never gotten rid of Jay Happ. Because he was a killer for us back then when he was a rookie, a second-year player, and they traded him for God knows what. Uh, just, uh yeah, I always wonder what would happen if we kept this guy. But he's had some moments in his career. You know, he hasn't had a terrible career. I mean, any time you stick in the league for, what, 12 years, um, he's gotten some people out. So the Twins are coming off a couple bad late-inning losses to Seattle. I think they're ready to say, okay, let, let's play a clean game here. Hit the ball. Let's have a nice, you know, Red Sox, they're on a roll. Uh, I think this is a nice spot for the Twins or the Red Sox now. You know, they're out of Baltimore. That's a team. They were in a groove there. Now this might just hop them just enough out of their groove that the Twins can get them. So we're going to take the Twins here. We don't, we're not crazy about it. One star. 
Uh, we like this game. Uh, we like uh, Padres uh, at Pittsburgh. Um, hey, the Padres look like they're on a roll. I mean, it, maybe not even better than that. I'll, I'll say it this way, and this is even better for the Padres. They might just be good, you know. It, it, some teams get on a roll, and that's great and all, because everybody gets on a roll sooner or later. And, hell, you know, see, see here. Uh, but then there's some teams, they're just good. And I think the Padres just might be good. Tatis, no Tatis. Uh, and I don't think the Pirates are very good at all. You know, they, they've won two in a row now. Okay, now you got the Padres coming in. You beat the Cubs. I'm getting a feeling the Cubs are not that good. And here come, so they've they beaten them, a divisional opponent. Now here comes a team on a roll that's maybe just good. The Padres. See if you could beat them. Uh, the Padres, I think, have uh, done pretty well in Pittsburgh uh, over the past few years. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think this is a good spot here to see if uh, you know the uh, Tr uh, Cahill. I think that's a pitcher the Padres could square up pretty well. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll try and cheapen it up a little bit there with the run line. But, yeah, we like the Padres. Um, this game, I do not know what the line is on this game. It's to, as I'm making this video, it's still off the board. You know, and then we'll take an hour to edit the video and, you know, fix sound levels and all that nonsense. So in that interim, I'm hoping to put it up, the number. Well, we want this game. Uh, it, almost at any price, I hate to say that because I've had that happen already, where I say, at any price, and then it goes off at like minus 400 or something stupid like that. But I guessed at the run line the best they could. Minus 140, that's a guess. But I think it's just a good spot for the Yankees. Uh, you know, they came out of Tampa feeling good. You know, they, they picked off that game in extra innings yesterday. Now, you know, they're coming up there. The Blue Jays, they're, you know, they've been sitting there waiting for them. They, they didn't play yesterday because of the rain. So I think the Yankees might be in just a little more of a rhythm. And uh, I think Garrett Cole is, you know, he, I think he, I know he didn't, I'm trying to think. He lost the decision in New York, didn't he? So I think he wants revenge. And um, that, that, the model really likes this game. You know, the model likes this game a little more than I do, but then that's what I rely on. So there you go. Uh, that's our top play. The rest of it, uh, the Rays, um, yeah, I, we're going to lay a, a pretty steep price here with Glasnow. But you know what? I mean, he's been pretty reliable in these kind of big favorite situations. I, you know, queried my little database, and it said he's won eight wins and one loss when he's a big favorite like this. So, yay. You know, we're all right with that. Uh, the Rays, believe it or not, are a pretty tough team at home. And you say, that makes no sense. No one's there. I don't think it has anything to do with the fans. I think it has to do with that field. You know, it's just a unique field where if you're not used to playing there, it, it's it's not easy. It's it's you can't see the ball. The, they got weird catwalks that overhang everything. It's just weird. So and they're used to it. So advantage Rays, and, and the Rangers just might be bad this year. I mean, that's just a team that you know could be a hundred loss team. So uh, you got. An ace going against a hundred loss team, yeah, I, I think there could be a 75, 80 percent chance uh, that the Rays get this game, uh, which would be giving you value there at minus 210. So we'll lay it. Not crazy about it. One star, but do it, or I will do it, or I would say I would, whatever. Uh, let's see. Think you're getting a chance to, to pick off a couple dogs here. Uh, we like the Royals at home against the Angels. Uh, again, the Angels, they didn't play yesterday, rained out. 
uh, and coming off a huge beating. So maybe they're just a little out of kilter. Uh, the Royals, nice win in extras uh, for them in Chicago. I still think that Royals team is better than advertised. I, I you know, I think that's a team you can look at is, uh, uh, you know, being a little better than, you know, finding ways to win where you don't think a team would. Uh, the Indians, why not? You know, we, uh, we, they're on a roll. They've been good to us. Um, they've got good pitching. We're getting a price here at the White Sox. The Indians generally play pretty well uh, versus the White Sox. Uh, I think we'll, you know, first game of the series, it, maybe the Indians sneak in there and grab that one. Uh, we'll take a shot there. Uh, the Diamondbacks. Um, after the way they steamrolled the Reds in the last two games, this one feels pretty good. Plus, I think here you got a little bit of a hidden advantage in that uh, Bassett for the A's. He's going to hit, and I'm sure he's you know hasn't picked a bat up in God knows when. So I'm sure you know we're think we're assuming he's going to be an automatic out. Whereas Baumgartner, he's a hitter. You know, they actually pinch hit him in that uh, red, uh, red series, I think. I'm pretty sure I saw that. So this dude's an actual hitter. So advantage Diamondbacks, that's a little hidden edge there. Um, yeah, I, I the A's aren't playing that well. You know, now, uh, you know I, I think that team is better than what they're playing. But, you know, at the moment, how much better than the Diamondbacks are they? You know, the Diamondbacks really swung the bats pretty well there uh, in the last two games. I did see one thing over the weekend that I thought, that's amazing. The Diamondbacks have some guy named Tim LeCastro, and he just some journeyman dude who occasionally gets on the field in the outfield, and he's never been thrown out. In other words, he has, I think, 28 straight steal attempts to start his career. This guy's never been thrown out. <laughs> I think that's amazing. It's like, wow, this guy is the magic dude. Did, did, did. I guess I'd wait if I, you know, I was him or something and try to steal home in a key situation just to see if it's, you know, he's truly blessed or is he just lucky. Uh, all right, very good. That's what we got for you. So let's get this up. Let's get this out. Uh, let people see it before these games kick off. You all can ruminate on it. Think about it. Very good. Very good. So hit the like button, all that good stuff. Subscribe if you're new. We'll welcome you aboard. And uh, let's see if we can keep this going. I, I'm, you know, I, I, our top play of the Yankees. I, I'd love to see a number on that game, but uh, I'm not sure. You know, I guess we're waiting. Somebody might be hurt or something. You know, I don't want it if Cole isn't going to play. So, you know, they, 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 they take that for what it's worth. Uh, good. All right. Signing off. Thanks. Eric Arnold out.